Nonich also called Kanonic, Lishan Kanon, Judeo Czech, Judeo Slavic is an extinct West Slavic Jewish language, formerly spoken in the lands of the Western Slavs, notably the Czech lands, but also the lands of modern Poland, Lusatia, and other Sorbian regions. It became extinct in the late Middle Ages. Topic etymology topic The name comes from the land of Canaan, a geo-ethnological term denoting the Jewish populations living east of the Elbe River as opposed to the Ashkenazi Jews, living to its west, or the Sephardi Jews of the Iberian Peninsula. As such, the land is often translated as simply Slavonia or Slavic Europe. The term is derived from ancient Canaan Hebrew, Kinnan. Topic history topic The language became extinct some time in the Middle Ages, possibly because of the expansion of the Ashkenazi culture and its own Yiddish language, based on German. That hypothesis is often backed, but the large number of Yiddish loanwords of Slavic origin, many of which were no longer in use in Slavic languages themselves at the time of the Ashkenazi expansion. They are believed to come from Nonich rather than from Czech, Sorbian or Polish. The linguist Paul Wexler has hypothesized that Nonich is actually the direct predecessor of Yiddish and that the language later became Germanist. In other words, the Nonim, that is, the people speaking the Judeo-Slavic languages, were the main cause of changes in Yiddish. That view has been dismissed by nearly all mainstream academics, however, and contrasts with the more widely accepted theories of Max Weinreich, who argued that Slavic loanwords were assimilated only after Yiddish had already been fully formed. Topic coinage topic A possible early example of Nonich is a 9th century letter for a Jewish community of Ruthenia. One of the very few commonly accepted examples of Nonich is inscriptions on Bractit coins issued under Mieszko the Old and Leszek the White, two Polish rulers of 12th and 13th century. The last evidence of usage of the language written with the Hebrew script comes from the 16th century. The reason that Nonich inscriptions, which use Hebrew letters, appear on coins minted for a Polish duke is that at the time, he leased some mints to Jews. The mint masters were responsible for collecting bullion and striking coins as well as periodically taking in and re-striking existing coins. The inscriptions on the coins range widely. Some are Hebrew names, possibly those of the mint masters. Some are the names of the towns in which the mint operated, for instance Kalish, the burial place of Mieszko the Old. Some have the Duke's name. One in the National Bank of Poland's numismatic collection bears the word bracha, Hebrew for blessing. Topic see also topic Czech language Jewish languages Judeo-Spanish Ladino topic References topic topic Literature topic In Czech Sedanova, Yerzhina, Literatura a Jazyk Zidu v Seskic Zemic, in Eurolitterariae and Eurolingua 2005, Technica Universita v Liberci, Liberic 2005 Yerzhina Sedanova from the Charles University in Prague seems to be the only specialist to study the glosses written in Lishan Kenan which appear in some Jewish Jewish religious texts from Bohemia. In this article the author affirms Lishan Kenan is just the Hebrew term for the local Slavic language. Bondiova, Ruth 2003. Mezi nami Raseno. Jack Malavili zide v sisacha na morave between us, language of Jews in Bohemia and Moravia in Czech. Society of Franz Kafka. ISBN 80-85844-88-5. The book documents languages used by Jews in the Czech lands during 12 to 20th century. Review in Czech, pages 28 to 33. Max Weinreich, History of the Yiddish Language, 1980, ISBN 0-226-88604-2. Topic. External links. Topic. Media related to Nonich language at Wikimedia Commons